In our ongoing look at the changes happening in Central Florida's weather forecasting change, we look at what downtown is doing to the thermometer. New research shows buildings and parking lots are throwing out so much heat during the summer, it's actually a threat to public health. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval is here with more. Eric? Yeah, guys, that research actually ranked the top metro areas all around the nation when it comes to how much heat their downtowns are throwing off. Orlando ranked in the top 20 urban heat islands. So we set out to find out what can be done to bring that temperature down. If you're driving in to, say, downtown Orlando and you look at your car thermometer, you can see that temperature go up or down. New 6 meteorologist Jonathan Kagas says downtown Orlando feels hotter during the summer because it actually is. He says it's a phenomenon called an urban heat island. With the heat island, you're absorbing the heat during the day. There's more things like the asphalt, um, like the buildings to absorb that heat from during the afternoons and then as you get to nightfall it radiates that heat back out that was absorbed throughout the day. New Six Partner Climate Central analyzed heat islands in 159 cities across the nation. The downtown cores with the biggest jump in urban temperatures were New Orleans, Newark, New Jersey, New York City, Houston, and San Francisco. They found downtown Orlando's temperature was about six degrees higher than surrounding areas, blamed on buildings not being reflective enough. Not enough green space, the high population there, and the building heights. We decided to put this heat island theory to the test. So we came here to downtown Orlando. We are in the middle of a parking lot that is covered with blacktop. Our thermometer reads just more than 101 degrees here. Five miles away here at the WKMG studios, we check our thermometer again, and it says here it's 96 degrees. That's five degrees cooler. Researchers say the heat from these urban heat islands is not only costing people more in electric bills for air conditioning, they're also a threat to public health. They say the heat magnifies pollution, makes dangerous conditions for people working outside. It also affects vulnerable people who may live nearby. New 6 investigated and we found out the city of Orlando is already working on getting results with more green space to absorb the heat. A community action plan aims to increase the number of trees in the city by 40 percent by the year 2040. And there are also rules in place to protect larger trees from being cut down and regulations that prevent development on wetlands. So Climate Central researchers say planting trees and plants as part of maybe a rooftop garden can also lower temperatures and the surrounding air. But you know, a lot of that work begins at the planning stages for the buildings, for the roads, and for the parking lots. They say the idea is for more people to use these techniques and the bigger impact they will have on the environment and more importantly, people's health. Ginger, Matt. And that's all of us, too. Right, all of us. Oh, my goodness. Eric, very fascinating. Thank it you. Feels like we should have thought of that as people were building this city. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it might be a, a little late, but hopefully mm. we can add things.